The goal of this presentation is to introduce you to yield to maturity using semi-annual compounding. Let's compute the yield to maturity assuming that the coupon amount on the bond is paid semi-annually. You have invested in a $1,000 par value bond that pays 10% interest annually. Bond will mature in 10 years and the current value of the bond is 1095 What is the yield to maturity for the bond? First convert the data into semi-annual data. Multiply the number of years by number of compounding or discounting period in a year. There are two semi-annual periods in a year. 10 years multiplied by 2 gives you 20 periods. Next, to compute the coupon amount, divide the interest rate by the number of discounting period in a year. Interest rate is 10%. There are two semi-annual periods. 10 divided by 2 is 5%. Multiply the semi-annual rate by the par value to compute semi-annual coupon amount. 5% times 1000 is 50. Next step is to draw a timeline for the problem and post the cash flows for the bond into the timeline. The time period is 20 semi-annual periods. So investor is paying 1095 at the period zero. Semi-annual coupon amount is $50 per period. Post the par value of $1000, which is future value that investor will receive at the end of 20 semi-annual periods. Let's compute the yield to maturity using the time value of money function of the financial calculator and enter the data in the following order. 20N, 1095, plus and minus, PV, 50 payment, 1000 FV, and the compute key and I slash Y key for TI are just I for HP. The semi-annual yield is 0.042833. Convert the semi-annual rate to the annual rate by multiplying by 2. The annual rate is 8.566%. Therefore, if you invest $1,000 in a 10% corporate bond and interest is paid semi-annually and you hold the bond until it matures, the rate of return to the investor is 8.566%. Thank you.